after having discussed about the class 2 agents, now let me discuss about the class 3 agents. Right, let me discuss about the class 3 agents. Now, if you take this particular class 3 agents, remember class 3 agents predominantly they block the potassium channels, right? So, mechanism of action of the class 3 agents is they predominantly block the potassium channels. Right, they predominantly block the potassium channels. Now, because Predominantly they block the potassium channels. What does these drugs do? Remember they will prolong the repolarization. Okay, so because of the blocking of the potassium channels there is prolongation of Right there is prolongation of repolarization Right, there is prolongation of the repolarization. Because the repolarization is being prolonged, there is also prolongation of the action potential duration. Right, prolongation of the action potential duration. Now, a point what you should remember here is, because there is prolongation of the action potential duration, these drugs, they may precipitate the torsades depointus. Okay. So, these drugs, they may precipitate torsades depointus, okay. Now, a very important point what you should remember here is, because there is prolongation of the action potential duration, there is prolongation of the QT interval. Right, there is prolongation of the QT interval. Now, because there is prolongation of the QT interval, that may precipitate the development of the torsades depointus. And what is your torsades depointus? It is a form of polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. Right, it is a form of polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. So, this is about the drugs causing the torsades depointus. Next, if you see these drugs, remember these drugs they exhibit reverse use dependent prolongation of the action potential duration. Okay, so these drugs, remember they exhibit what is called as reverse use dependent prolongation. Right, reverse use. Right, they will cause the reverse use dependent prolongation of right of the action potential duration. Right of the action potential duration. Now, what does that mean? Right, they exhibit what is called reverse use dependent prolongation of the action potential duration. This means that the refractoriness increases at lower heart rates. That is, the refractoriness of this particular drugs acting as antiarrhythmic drugs, it, they increases at lower heart rates. Therefore, these drugs, they are more efficacious at preventing a tachyarrhythmia than treating it. So, these drugs, they don't act at the lower heart rates. Where do they act? They act only whenever there is a tachyarrhythmia or they are more efficacious at preventing the tachyarrhythmia than treating it, okay. So, what does this particular reverse use dependent prolongation of the action potential duration is? This means that, right, this means that refractoriness increases Right, refractoriness increases 
at the lower heart rates right and therefore these agents right therefore these agents are useful for preventing the tachyarrhythmia right therefore these agents are useful for preventing the tachyarrhythmias then right then treating it all right now now because of this property class 3 antiarrhythmic agents may paradoxically be more arrhythmogenic at lower heart rates right so remember at lower heart rates these drugs should not be given because of this particular property of reverse use dependent prolongation of the action potential duration they may be more arrhythmogenic that means at the lower heart rates what are they doing they are prolonging the action potential duration thereby there will be prolongation of the QT interval and thereby there will be development of torsades d pointers okay so because of this particular property of reverse use dependent prolongation of the action potential duration these class 3 antiarrhythmic agents may paradoxically be more arrhythmogenic at lower heart rates okay so at lower heart rates these are more arrhythmogenic okay so that is the reason why at the lower heart rates we don't use this particular antiarrhythmic agents now you take the drugs in this particular class 3 antiarrhythmic agents if you take let me tell you the drugs in this class 3 in the form of a mnemonic right what is that particular mnemonic is the mnemonic is bindas right now you take the word b b stands for bretillium I stands for ibutilide. You take D stands for dronadarone. Right? D stands for dronadarone. And then not only dronadarone, we have another important drug that is called as dofetilide. right d stands for dronadarone or dofetilide next if you take a stands for amiodarone and s stands for sotalol right s stands for sotalol so class 3 agents if you take bretillium ibutilide dofetilide or dronadarone amiodarone and then sotalol right so before going into the further part of the discussion let me shortly revise here you take class 3 agents this particular class 3 agents the mechanism of action is they act by blocking the potassium channels and thereby prolonging the repolarization that is they will cause the prolongation of the action potential duration because they cause the prolongation of the action potential duration they may prolong the QT interval and because of the prolongation of the QT interval these drugs may precipitate the torsades d pointers which is a form of polymorphic ventricular tachycardia and these drugs they exhibit what is called as reverse use dependent prolongation of the action potential duration this means that right this means that the refractoriness increases at lower heart rates and therefore these are more efficacious at preventing the tachyarrhythmia rather than treating the tachyarrhythmias.